So hello campers, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lockwood92 and this is Square Slice Moto. Did you ever get one of those little places that's your, that's just your wee getaway place, your wee get to place? Do we let's get out and just chill place? Well this is where we're going, we're just heading there right now, so I'll see you in a minute. This is the Fairley Moor Road, it's the road that goes from Dolry into Fairley, funnily enough. It's a lovely wee track, and when you get to the peak, you just see over straight on to all the highlands and islands that kind of sit in the surrounding area on the west coast. I don't think there's anything down there. So this is where we're going. Don't put up there either. Another wee road. Big AT. I'm beginning a couple issues. With big RB, so I have. And it's nothing to do with the bike, it's to do with moi. Low speed manoeuvres are just a nightmare for me at the moment. Because it's DCT, you don't have a clutch, you can't ride the clutch, so it's more a confidence thing. See, if you can imagine if you were on a manual bike, you were in first gear and the bike didn't stall, right? So it wouldn't matter if you stopped. If you stopped, the bike would stop, and when you started, the bike would start. But if you imagine if you didn't have a clutch, and all you've got is throttle. And I'm finding it can be quite snatchy, it goes from off to boom. And when you're on a slow speed manoeuvre, it's good to have a clutch to be able to pull in. Oh, look at the spring lambs. It'd be good to have a clutch just to kind of bring it in, reel it in. Well, you don't get that on a DCT. But what they say is, you should just master the rear brake and use that. <coughs> well, I've not mastered the rear brake. And I'm finding a couple of times I've almost come off, but not quite. And it's, it's unsettling. You know, it makes you not love the bike as much. And then here I am today, I'm out and I'm happy as Larry on it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I've been starting to look at other bikes and then I've, I've not even had this a year. I'm thinking, Bob, what are you doing? Actually, I've been always want to stop here and get a picture. Where are they from? You know what, they've been sitting at my ass the whole time. I've been jumping back and forward on the seat and I've been like, what is that? They've been sitting on the seat the whole time. It's a set of um, earbuds. Well, it's earbuds. What a bloody blather. Um, right, hold on, I need to put this in neutral before I can put the stand down. And is it quite a uh, see this is the thing with this bike? Oh, I think it's quite a it's quite a drop, isn't it? But I do want to stop here. Hold on a minute. I'm faffing about. Let's see if we can get a better way of stopping the bike. Right here. That's a lean. I'm going to struggle to get this back up. God, look how far that's leaning. What chance have I got of getting that back up? 
I wonder actually, I might just pull in there. This is where the fun starts. Right. Let's see what we can do. This just gives you an idea of what it's like to live with an Africa twin. I'm not getting this back up, by the way. I'm gonna have to move it. It's such a heavy bloody bike. Right. I'm gonna have to do Let's try and turn the bloody thing. Okay, I know it's still on the stand. No, it's not actually. The stand's kicked back up again. Okay. Let's try again for here. What a carry on, man. Right. That's better. So let's see if we can get a turn on here. This is my biggest bear. And I can use this to slow me down. See this brake as well, which is the rear brake. Oh man, I'm knackered after that. Okay, so let's go. Let's see if we can get a turn on here. Already, I can feel I'm going to drop it. Carry on. Right, it should be okay for here. Well, let's have a quick wonder. Quick two minute wander in here. Yeah, look at just love old buildings. This must have been used for cattle or something. Recently, gone by the ground. It's always been an old farmer's house. God, look at that. Yeah, there's the old troughs. Oh, wow. Look at this, folks. Nothing about here either, look. Well. Yeah, never know. Yeah, you can see I just struggle a bit with the whole manoeuvrability, it's just it's so bloody heavy. I've never experienced that in my life before with a bike. And I'm thinking, now's the time to change. So then begs the question, what do you buy? What do you go for? Do you stick with an adventure bike? Do you go for something a bit different? Like a Norden? Or the Desert X? Or a Scrambler? Do you want to have some off-road capability? I'm probably more geared at touring. But I'd like to have the option of doing a wee bit off-roading if I wanted to. I go for the GS. GS is another big bike. But is the GS more manageable? I 
See what I mean? It's just a heavy. But then when you're on it, it's great. It is so easy to ride. You get across these kind of roads, these kind of bumpy roads, it just soaks it up. But here you go, look, this is what you this is what you see along this road. Five minutes for the house, you're here. And this is what I love about it. You want to come out for an hour, you just do this road. Yeah, I mean, there's that many different bikes in there. There's, there's, you're spot for choice. What do you go for if you're going to do it? I've not decided if I'm doing it yet, but I've, I do feel like. I'm going to come off this, or maybe that's what I need to do, maybe I need to come off it to realise it's maybe not quite as bad as you think. I'm just shit scared of dropping it and hurt myself. And maybe I just need to get out more, do some more low speed manoeuvres, stick some pillows on the side <laughs> with the intention of dropping it. So this takes us round the other side of the, what we call the braze. Okay, how are we gonna, how are we gonna work this one out? Because this is a really slow road, pal. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it takes you to the other side of that. The kind of main road from Colburnie into Largs. But look, you've got a wee bit of off-road capability, you can take that wee back road, that wee dirt road there, follow it up round, see where it goes. You always get little vans and stuff that pull in and just sit here. I don't know! But here's what you see. Look at that. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Look at it. Well folks, that's us heading off, rain is on, we are going home. 
That was awesome, just stopping there for a bit, enjoyed that so much. Never get tired of this road, never get tired of this route. Just need to try and get a bit better on this. Rain is never far away. Look at that, it just opens up. Awesome. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the channel so far. All new for us. All new channel. Whole new setup. Myself, Lockwood92 and Mark, Ayrshire Vlogster. And Chris, Sprocket Rocket, so far. I've done some stuff on the channel. We'll get more on as time goes on. So just stay tuned, if you've not subbed the channel already, please consider doing so. The more we get, the better. And the more subs we get, the more likes we get, the higher up the rankings we go on YouTube, and the more chance there is for more people to see the videos. So yeah, give us a wee like, give us a sub if you've not done already, and leave a comment, we will get back to you. Get back to every single comment and anything you want to know. Any ideas you've got even, just throw them our way and we'll look at it. The beauty of social media, YouTube, the whole shebang, opens it up to all us mere mortals. Okay, I'm going to shoot, just a blast back down the road again. And I'll catch up with you later. So this is Square Slice Moto from me, Lockwood92. I will see you in the next one. Lockwood, out. This is a good wee back route to get me back home again. There's a mental dog here that just chases you on the bike. And the owners just let it. So I've got to be careful. Don't want to run it down. Just here at this house. Last time it chased me around the corner. Had to shoot away for it. Watch for the dog. I don't think it's here.